You might not know this about Vim, but it's an absolutely wonderful text editor and is my favorite to use personally. And one wonderful specific thing that you can do with Vim, as I'll be showing you, let's first make a new file. We'll call it pass.txt. Now this creates a brand new file for us. And in this file, I want to insert a new line. Hey, it's Savvy Nick here. Now, what if I wanted to make sure that this file was secured and encrypted? That way, no one can reach this. A lot of us spend time zipping up files and compressing them to put a password over them. But what if we want to simply encrypt this text so no one else can see it on our system? Well, Vim makes it super easy. So most of us are used to doing colon X, which saves and exits out of the current file. So if we open up pass.txt again, we'll see, hey, it's Savvy Nick here inside of the file that we just created. Wonderful. But what I want to show you is colon capital X. As you can see on the bottom here, we've typed it in. And now if you press enter, you'll be asked for an encryption key. What does that mean? Well, that's just asking you what password do you want to use in order to access this file? Well, if we set one, we'll be asked again for that same password. Make sure to remember this password because if for some reason you forget the password, and you don't actually reset the file so it doesn't have a password, which I'll be showing you later in the video, make sure to smash that like button, then you will not have access just like no one else will ever have access to this file. Unless you brute force figure out the encryption somehow, good luck. Anyways, in order to save this, you can do colon W for write, and I'm just gonna quit out of the file right away, so I'm gonna add a Q behind there. You could have just done the write first, and then I'm going to get out of the file. Now, when I access pass.txt, can I access it? No, I can't. There's an encryption key. Well, let's just prove that it's actually encrypting our data. Well, that's simple. I'm going to type in a password that's not right. And look at this. Read only, converted, and no end of line. Why? Because you get this gibberish here. Vimcrypt is your only clue that this is an encrypted file that you cannot access. No, no, no. Not available for you. And this is why Vim is one of my favorite text editors, especially when it comes to the console. It allows you to directly edit these text files, encrypt them, and super easily navigate lines with your keyboard. So this is a very useful command. Let's actually go inside of our file. I'm gonna quit out since I failed to enter in the password. But before we get there, check out delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. All right, so I'm gonna try accessing Vim, the file again, and typing in the correct password this time. And look at that, I have access to the file. So why does it say Blowfish2 at the bottom? Well, that's just the encryption algorithm that's being used in order to actually encrypt the file. So don't worry about that too much. You can actually set different encryptions. We won't go over that. But what I want to show you is something interesting. So one warning I want to mention is if you want to remove a password or even set a new password, you can't just simply save and exit. You actually have to write the file. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to re-encrypt this file. And here's the secret. If you want to remove the encryption, just press enter twice without any password actually put in. And then I'm going to save and exit with colon X. As we may know, colon X saves and exits out of the file. So I'm going to access vim pass.txt. Wait a second, why is it asking me for a password again? Savvy Nick, didn't you say that we didn't need a password because we just removed it? Well, that's because we made a fatal mistake. If we type in the previous password, we can still access the file. Why is that? Well, when we did the colon capital X as an X-ray and we pressed enter twice, we forgot one step. You cannot do colon X to save and exit. You must do a write first. So if I write and then I do a colon X to save and write, then the password gets removed as you can see here. So make sure you do that. The other way around this, of course, is you can do colon WQ, which writes and then quits out of the, the Vim text editor for you as well. So this is an absolutely fantastic way to go through, create notes. And if you want to keep those notes secret, 
you can keep them secret. Maybe you have code you want to write and you want to keep that encrypted on your computer. If someone ever gains malicious access or just access to your computer, they cannot see those files unless they can break the encryption, which we all know is super difficult. One other thing I want to show you is if I open up the file again, let's just put a little word of encouragement for who's ever trying to get in. And we're going to do colon capital X again to create an encryption key. And then I'm going to write the file and I'm going to quit out of the file. And now I want to access this file directly from the desktop. Am I able to? So here's pass.txt. It was in the savvy Nick home directory. So I'm accessing it and look at this gibberish. Again, the only clue is vincrypt up at the top. Everything else is gibberish. You cannot read the contents of this file. Well, hopefully you learned a little bit about Vim and how you can actually put in an encryption password super easily without having to use a whole bunch of tools in order to do it or installing extra software on your computer. You can now just use Vim to do it directly yourself. If you're looking for more kernel updates, tips and tricks about Linux, and just some fun content in general, make sure to subscribe below. Don't forget to like the video, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.